Right, so as you're watching this right now, a film that I've made for my brother has just been released over on his YouTube channel. There'll be a link in the description, but today's video is about behind the scenes into how I made the film. Um, so yeah, before we get started, here is the sneak peek sort of trailer thing of the film. Last Sunday, I uh, raced in Castle Howard Triathlon. Uh, it's part of the Castle Race Series. Um, and yeah, it's been a week since then, and uh, I'm here to tell you about it. So yeah, uh, today's video is just behind the scenes. First of all, I'm going to talk about the gear that I used to shoot the film, and then I'm going to talk about how I got each shot. The gear that I used to shoot this film, um, it's a pretty simple setup. I used my Canon 700D camera, which I use for everything I'm using right now, um, with my 18 to 55 millimeter lens on it. Um, and I had my camera on a DJI SC gimbal. Um, I borrowed that gimbal for a week because I don't have my own, um, and it was really fun to use a gimbal, I've never used a gimbal before um, and yeah it was really cool to use, it got some nice smooth footage uh, which is really important because obviously it's a triathlon, it's lots of movement so getting nice smooth movement was, in really, impo was really important. So yeah I also got some shots with my drone which is the DJI Mini 2. I wasn't actually allowed to film with my drone at the venue for the triathlon but I managed to kind of dodge the rules a little bit by going off the venue, flying up and flying over the venue uh, which is really useful for the opening of the film. Um, and gave it a nice sense of where you were for the start of the film. Um, so yeah, for the swim, obviously I, could get that. I got a nice shot of them setting off and ideally I would have flown the drone over them swimming, uh, which obviously I couldn't do. But a ni nice way I got a cool shot was there was a rope bridge going over the lake, which was quite high up. So I managed to go up on the rope bridge, held the gimbal up as high as I could and looked over uh, getting a nice kind of drone drone sort of shot of them swimming so yeah as they came out of the swim um, so I got this shot running alongside my brother coming out of the swim it, this shot was inspired by a shot that I saw quite a while ago from Peter McKinnon where he was running through a forest um, and yeah it was really cool just ran alongside my brother running and it was really nice and smooth it was even smoother once i've stabilized it in post um so yeah that was really cool really good shot i was proud of that one and then he set off to do the bike couldn't get any shots until he came around for, to do the second lap of the bike tried to do a nice tracking going following him go round, but i kind of mistimed it um he was going too slowly and i was going too fast um so i kind of missed him and it was all out of focus um so yeah that was a little bit annoying because that was the only time I saw him on the bike. And then he came in for the run and um, I did the same thing I did for the swimming, sh the getting out the swim shot. I ran alongside him and yeah, it was a good shot again. Uh, that was probably the best shot I got. Um, and he set off to do the run. And yeah, I was gonna see him um, as he passed for the second lap of the run. Um, but spoilers for the film, he hurt his ankle and he didn't finish uh, the run. So I didn't film anymore. Obviously I didn't, but oh well, it was still a good film, I'm pretty proud of it. Again, the link for the film is in the description, check it out, I'm pretty proud of it. And there we go, that's going to be in that little short behind the scenes video. I'll see you next time for another video, bye.